Hello, fellow YouTubers. This is Derek Duct Tape here. And first of all, I'd like to say thank you for going on my channel and watching my videos. Today, I'm going to talk about an interesting item a tree. And right here it is. I made one of duct tape, a model, a miniature, whatever you want to call it. But I made a duct tape here. And these are very interesting items here. And first of all, their trees are known for three things, basically. One, they're wood. You can make things out of it. A lot of structures here are made out of wood. These picnic tables are made out of wood. This pavilion, some of it's made out of wood. Or most of it is. So you make things. Two, if I can show you here. These leaves. Another thing they're made out of. Tree special. Make trees distinguish the leaves. Right here it is. And I made these out of duct tape too. Right here's the leaves here. And the last thing they're known for are their fruits. And you can eat them. I just made just, I don't know what kind of fruits they are, but I'm pretty sure they are fruits that look like these. And you can eat them. So, so now the interesting thing is, any picture, if there's a tree in it, just by looking at the tree, you can tell what time of the year it is. Because we have, right now, leaves are growing on trees. They're on trees right now. And pretty soon, they're going to change color. And a great design by God. If you look out, leaves, each tree does a different color. So the artwork on that can be very neat. So they're going to change color. Then they're going to fall off. And then they're going to grow back and we're going to repeat the cycle over again. So in the Bible, it talks about the tree of life. So if you eat of it, you'll live forever. That's why it's called a tree of life. That, when God created everything, he created that first. One of the first things he created was tree of life. He put it in the Garden of Eden. It wasn't the actual first thing he created, but it's among one of the first. And the first man he created, if they eat of it, they'll live forever. So God intended us to live forever. He had a tree of life. But what happened to the tree of life? I'll get into it later. So, I got a verse of scripture I want to read. And here it is. John 10, 28. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So that verse of scripture is about life. Jesus gives us life. But that's, the, that's what we need now to get the tree of life. I'll show you. Because right here is a real tree of life right here. It's made from a tree. It's the cross. It's not the cross in itself, but what happened on the cross. And I'll show you. When God created man, he created him put in a garden. And there's two trees in the middle. One tr Every tree, he said, you can freely eat. And they basically can do whatever they want. But there's only this. If there's one command they're at, they're to obey, and I'm going to use this here as a tree of knowledge of good and evil. I'm pretty sure it is an odd tree, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil here is put in the middle of the garden, as well as the tree of life. And he said, "Of this tree, you must not eat. The day you do, you surely die." But then basically, Satan, the serpent, tempted Eve, and she gave her husband, and they ate. When God walked into the garden, he said, where are you, Adam? Where are you? And they, they covered themselves with leaves, 
and they hid because they were naked. They're ashamed. Before they took a bite, they weren't ashamed that they were naked. Now they are. And Adam said, they're naked. God said, who told you you were naked? Did you eat of that knowledge of tree, tree and evil? Good and evil? And do all line, he did, and, and for punishment, for a consequence, they have to die. They died spiritually and physically. And after that, sin came to the world. That means man lied, they cheated, they did everything. That's sin. And because of our sin, we are destined to die and then go to a place called hell for all eternity. But there's nothing we can do about it. We can't do any works, nothing. Nothing we can do. We can't join a church. We can't give any money. We can't do a thing about it. Because of our sin. We are destined to hell. Nothing you can do about it. So, that's why God sent Jesus Christ to be born a virgin. He lived a life without sin. All that stuff he told you about, he did none of that. And that did something very amazing, very beautiful for us. Not beautiful for him, but for us it is. He's able to take the punishment for sin for us. He died in our place. Yep, he died in our place. And that's for the forgiveness of sins. And when there was some real good news, he didn't stay dead. Because he rose again. And that secured our salvation. That way, we are forgiven. And we can be saved and enter into heaven. Because he resurrected into heaven. So that's the good news here. But the thing is, we have to make a choice. Do we accept them or reject them? He wants to have a relationship with us. Because he went through all this... All that he went through, he went through for us on the cross. And now, if you trust Christ as your Savior, you can now partake the tree of life. It's in the book of Revelation 22, it even shows every month it's going to have a new fruit. So it shows there will be time in heaven, but that's for another video. There's a new fruit in heaven every time, every month, it says. It's going to give a different fruit. Will not be something. So that, now that allows us to eat the tree of life. But we got to trust that Jesus Christ is our Savior. If you want to know how to do that, it's very simple. Have it start with a relationship and trust him as salvation. One. To be on your way to heaven. You got to do this. The first thing you need to do is admit that you're a sinner. You have sin. We all have sin. I have sin. And I need Jesus. Just like you need Jesus. Two. We must believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us for the forgiveness of our sins. And then rose again three days later to secure our salvation. To enter into heaven. And then we've got to believe that he's a living son of God. And the last thing we got to do is just ask him. That's all we got to do. If you've done that, congratulations. You're on your way to heaven. If you have it, if you want to know more information, my contact information will be in the description here. So I'd like to be more than happy to talk more about salvation to you. So, so thank you for watching. This is Derek Duct Tape here saying don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like, locations, get more videos of me. So this is Derek Duct Tape here saying see you later. Goodbye.